u slash qxvid ask reddit what did you learn in school that has since been proven false this is the placeholder intro file can be easily swapped opt, opt, opt. ain't nobody offering me drugs beep the food pyramid brought to you by big grain we learned the planet name mnemonic my very easy method just speeds up naming planets my very easy method just seems useless now that i'd never be conveniently walking around with a calculator in my pocket though tbh at the time the concept would have been a little weird that we would all be fully converting to the metric system by the 80s my congressman represents me detentions suspensions will go on your permanent record that college professors were hardcore my freshman year my physics professor made us throw tennis balls around for an entire lecture that you taste different things bitter sweet sour etc on different parts of your tongue i remember in elementary school doing the experiment where you drop liquids on different parts of your tongue to taste the difference turns out that's beep you taste everything everywhere on your tongue in the experiment worked by confirmation bias that i can't use my notes in life tf does that even mean i'm always looking at my notes when i do my job in elementary school it was the four food groups by high school it was the food pyramid once i got to college it was my plate who knows what it'll become next because nutrition is always changing in a social psychology course in college i was taught that among other things you could prime people to walk more slowly by saying elderly themed words to them in the very next semester i took a research capstone course where our textbook was a book called the seven deadly sins of psychology and in that book they debunked that exact study about priming not sure when the book was published in comparison to when i took the social psych class but it's likely that the social psych professor who i hated for other reasons was teaching us already disproven studies as if they were fact i'm still flabbergasted by it to this day that i needed to play the recorder that if i got into drugs i'd be doomed to a life of taking terrible jobs i ended like that and i never even got to take any drugs that cracking your fingers gives arthritis that when columbus discovered north america everyone thought the world was flat that learning cursive was important that napoleon was short that thomas edison was anything other than a good businessman that french lady who name currently eludes me didn't say the thing about cake you can be anything if you just work hard enough man when i think back on all the beep i learned in high school it's a wonder i can think at all the food pyramid isn't so correct after all smiley face for some reason i learned in school that you can beep venom out of a snake bite don't do that the civil war was about states rights the confederate states literally wrote down their reason for breaking away from the union was slavery that there was only enough oil to last until 2010 that beep won't fly in the real world meanwhile that beep in the real world airplane that blood was blue inside your body and only turned red after you cut yourself because it's exposed to oxygen pluto our government runs because of an intricate system of checks and balances of one branch over another funny enough just had a conversation with my wife and my son about george washington's wooden teeth they were not wooden he actually had lost all his teeth by 30 and is known to have had at least four sets of dentures that blood is blue when unoxygenated this wasn't actually taught in the curriculum but one day there was a group of kids in my class arguing with me about it so we asked the teacher to tell us who was right she froze with a deer in the headlights expression and i knew in that moment that she had no idea however she then decided to agree with the other kids that blood is in fact blue all the other kids pointed at me and laughed and i lost a little bit of the faith i had that adults knew what they were doing they, i was told with great sincerity that jimmy's mother was an obese beep worker turns out she was an accountant and an excellent shape man shrugging Tr that everything that we learn in school will be helpful for us later in life columbus thought that the world was flat or something like that the truth is he was just very bad at predicting the earth's circumference that good handwriting will matter dot now i press keys on the computer every day the different taste zones on the tongue even as a kid i thought that was dumb that if i couldn't type 25 words a minute then there was no reason to learn how to type since that is the basic speed of handwriting the alamo remember the alamo why was it fought um mexicans were oppressing the white folks wrong the mexicans didn't allow slavery in sam houston and the rest of the gang needed slaves to make money in the cotton biz my college professors aren't going to nice and lend me a pencil if i forgot one asbestos the wonder material now when you see it the dude carrying it is wearing a nuclear proof spacesuit that beep is as bad as cocaine beep beep i remember in like first grade they teach you the budget cheap thanksgiving story then like four or five years later boom it's a lie and lots of death pluto is a planet o is not a planet weight is a planet or is what 
If you study hard and get good grades you'll be set in life. The American dream. It's something you grow up believing in so heavily when you're the child of immigrant parents who risked their lives crossing the border. School reinforced that for me. We sang the Pledge of Allegiance. Fell for the propaganda following 9-11. Were taught only very briefly what the Civil War and Vietnam War were. My parents still think the American dream is as real as the Iraq War was necessary. Today, as I get older and see the world more for what it is, it feels like every day the U.S. strays further and further from the message imprinted on the Statue of Liberty. And if the American dream was never true, what else was I taught early on that isn't true as well? Sometimes I wonder if there was something more going on besides just the colonists having a problem with taxation. If the corruption we see in our government today, the corporate control, are all just a product of centuries worth of work to create this country-wide safe haven for greed. I find it harder every day to believe the U.S. isn't on some kind of collision course with reality as I learn more about this country's history, and not just history with major events, but minor events that happened in cities and states. The long history in this country of corporate greed overriding worker interests. And I mean like straight up sabotage and beatings and hit squads and open racism. The long history of this country treating human beings like spectacles at a county fair. The long history of singling out ethnic groups to blame for any shortcomings or to distract from the corporate hands dipping into the citizens' pockets. Honestly, I sometimes think if given the chance to be free of consequence, a lot of our politicians and CEOs would happily and readily jump at the opportunity to be openly racist and discriminate, to ask who we're sleeping with, how we're eating, what we're watching, how we're spending our free time. If given the chance, they would happily bring back child workers. Take away the healthcare. Replace the 40-hour work weeks with 80 hours. Get rid of breaks and PTO. Reduce the pay. There is so much pain and frustration among the general populace. Yes. But I also see so much unfettered greed among the elites just building up. The little taxes they do pay. And yet they still feel like they should be paying far less. What do you do with that? What do you do with the Epstein of the world? The Weinstein. The Griffins. The Cox. The Murdochs. They pay so little back to society and keep so much for themselves and yet it still bothers them that they're paying. No I don't believe in the American dream anymore. It just sounds like a marketing campaign for a really crappy product that'll break in like two days. Your tongue having sweet, sour, salty sections. I'm an idiot. So sure of course I just thought I was defective. But there were actually intelligent, socially competent kids in my class. Who challenged other misconceptions stated by teachers. So why not this? Very confused still. It's clearly false. But still, maybe it's a joke I still haven't caught. I don't know. I mean, why? As much as anything, and that you have to fit in for people to like you. My math teacher always said that I wasn't going to have a calculator with me all the time. That you need a four years degree to succeed. Let me tell you I have a four years degree. My job does not require and did not give a beep about my degree. I left it out of my resume. That people who do good and follow the rules do well in society. Also nice try with the recycling toys but turns out people aren't actually trying to save the earth. And we are not a part of this exquisite plan to change things whatsoever. There are only three states of matter. Do good and good will come to you. That's a complete false statement. That if I smoke beep I'll die of a beep overdose and two virgins can give each other the AIDS. Sweet Jesus. I graduated high school in 95. Pretty much everything but math was a lie. Literally. All of it was a pack of lies. I mean. History, lol, but also the lies that told us if we went to college, we'd be guaranteed to get jobs, get married, have kids, buy a house and live happily ever after. Spoiler, happily ever after was a beep lie. There's no evidence that the Vikings had horns on their helmets. I remember this being such an important aspect when learning about them. School has your best interest at heart and is designed to educate and prepare you for a wonderful future. The only place a man can feel pleasure is on the beep. That Columbus discovered America and was a good guy. I was told I'd need to know the female genitalia for when I'm an adult. I'm currently 43 and still have zero interest in it. That high school was the best years of our lives. That you can be anything you set your mind to. Good guys always win. Every beep thing about nutrition. All the beep about red meat being bad. Animal beep being bad. Grains. Somehow being some superlative staple etc. Not medical school or any medical classes but the whole deoxygenated blood is blue thing. That people dying from rocking on their chair is a lot less of a problem than I was led to believe. Albert Einstein wasn't bad at math. He was always really, really good at it. Not sure how or why my teacher thought that would motivate or make me less of a dipshit at math. I wasn't sitting there not getting it thinking. 
if only Einstein was beeped to once. Quote, this is the placeholder outro file. Congrats. You made it through the entire video. This segment is supposed to fill 20 to 30 seconds. So I'll keep talking a bit. Hope you enjoyed and don't forget to hit the like button. Ring the bell and subscribe to the channel. Any improvement ideas? Write us at autogenlabs at gmail.com or leave a comment. Have a great day. A great day.